In this Elegant Themes tutorial, I'm going to take a look at the latest DV feature update, which is the Find and Replace. Now, before we go into this tutorial, I just want to talk about uh, why this feature is really, really cool. So first of all, it allows batch editing. So that means that let's say you have titles across your page and you want to change the font or even the font color. So you change this font on uh, a single instance and then this will be applied throughout the whole page. And what's even better is you can actually make changes to maybe a section, the whole page or particular blurbs and so on. So there's a lot of um, ways that you can actually use this find and replace feature. And you also have options to apply all these uh, changes to the entire page, which is fantastic. So um, what this does is it just allows you to work faster in Divi and also in cases where you want to make you know, drastic changes, this actually works really, really well. Today's episode has been made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. Let's dive into our page here and let me show you how this feature can be used. So what I've done here is I've just loaded this layout uh, pack and uh, let's say I want to change these titles right here. So all I have to do now is to go into the text settings, design. So let's say I want to make changes to, uh, let's say this font here. So if I right click, now we can see find and replace. So this is the addition that was added to this update. So if I click here on, um, on find and replace, now right now we have this uh, title text, it's Oswald. So let's say I want to change that to, let's say a different uh, font. So let's go with, uh, let's say Poppins, select it. And then what I can do now is I can replace all found values within every option type, not limited to heading two. So that means that um, this change here will also be applied to other instances other than heading two. But for this example, I just want to apply this to this heading two. So now I can go ahead now and click replace. Right, so now we can see that uh, this has been updated and let's see what has happened. So you can see here, it has also has changed and throughout the whole page, it has changed. That's fantastic. So let's say I want to change the color, right? So if I right click here, find and replace. So I can change now the colors and over here, I want to replace um, that color with, uh, let's say this orange here, okay? Click replace and now my color has changed to that orange now take a look here this is happening on all my headings and that would have saved me a lot of time so imagine if I was doing this one by one this will actually take me a long time to complete right so let's do uh, further changes so let's say I want to change the text size so again I can just right click find and replace so right now it's at 40 pixels. Now let's make a dramatic change, which you can really see once this has been made. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down to about, let's say uh, 16 pixels. I'm gonna click replace. And now we can see that the heading now is now really, really small. So this is how this search and replace works. Okay, great. Right, so let's save this and uh, let's make another change so let's say over here we have these blurbs right so uh, i'm going to come over here to design and let's say i want to make change this heading here change the color of that so all i'm going to do is to right click find and replace and then i'm going to add my color so let's say uh, it's going to be in fact we might as well use this orange okay if i click on replace now we can see that it has been applied to all, all, to all these blurbs. Now, if you were to make changes to this, you would have to go in and make this change one by one because uh, there, is, there was no way prior to this that you could go in and make that change. Okay, so this also works for background colors on um, sections and also on modules. So let's try and do this here. So if I come over here to my section settings, click on background, and I right click here within this background area. If I click on find and replace, everywhere where we have this background color, we can actually replace it with a new color. So I'm gonna go with, um, okay, let's go with this color right here. And now if I click on replace all, this will be applied pretty much throughout the whole site where you have this background instance. So I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, click on replace all found values, replace. And now we can see that my color has been updated. 
and any other instance which would have had that background color would also be replaced. But in this case, I don't have that. Now, let me show you something that also that's also very, very important here. So I'm just going to save and then I'm going to uh, come in here and choose this text. If I come over here onto design and uh, let's say I want to change the text font. So right now I can click on find and replace. Now, there's also an option here. In fact, before I go to replace all, if I come over here to within, I can actually make even further adjustments here and say within this section. So let's say you had uh, quite a few of those instances of that paragraph on that section. You can actually choose to, fi to uh, find and replace within that actual section or within the row or column. So you can actually drill down and go specifically into uh, whatever it is that you want to make the uh, find and replace. So I think this is really, really cool. And further down here, you can also uh, do this to specific uh, elements. So this is in the text settings, all modules, all text uh, settings. So if I select uh, all uh, modules here and replace all, now if I do that, in fact, that didn't work because I haven't changed uh, the font. So you can see here, find uh, this text font, replace with, so I hadn't changed it here, so that's why it didn't work. So it's important that uh, you uh, choose the font that you want to replace it with. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to choose Poppins, select it, and then I'm going to click on Replace. Right, so what has happened now is all my text has been, has been replaced throughout the whole page. So this is one of those quick ways that you can uh, make changes to your fonts throughout the whole page. So you can see here, this applies to the whole page. So let's say you, are, uh, you have uh, instances where your text is a different size. You can always go there and choose find and replace, and that will just fix that problem. So this is a quick way of actually making updates to your page and changing all your layouts. Today's episode has been made possible by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. So this feature here, yeah, I think, is very important. It uh, saves you a lot of time. And also, if you want to make quick changes, you can always go in and make quick changes. So there are several ways that you can use this feature. So let's say you have a client and you want to uh, show them two versions of a page. And on the first page, maybe it's, a, it's about the colors uh, and the fonts. And on the second version, maybe it's, again, colors and fonts. So you can take a screenshot and show them and show your client the first version or the second version. So that's one way you can use that. Secondly, uh, let's say you're working on a website that, may, that needs major changes in terms of rebranding, the fonts, and so on. Now you can go in and make those changes really, really fast. All right, so that's all I have for you in today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. If you do that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.